that was top defense in the Big Ten. Big Ten. Um, so I mean, what we were able to do tonight, um, I think it was it was really good for us. I mean, I don't know if anyone's done that on them in the last two years. So um, I mean, we really we had a great week of preparation this week, and I think um, you know it, it kind of shows us the level that we can play at. And it's more so proving to ourselves that we can play at this level, and you know, that should be our standard every single week. Can you explain to how you were able to do it? I mean, the, the wrinkles, the new wrinkles that Coach was talking about. Um, yeah, we did a couple more things. We saw a little bit more empty tonight, obviously, with me and Saquon doing the little chain, the, the motion thing. Um, the, that first session, I think that really caught them off guard, and they didn't necessarily know how to react to it. And obviously, it spun him for a huge gain, and they got the momentum going. So, uh, just a couple wrinkles here and there, uh, ways that we're able to kind of manipulate some matchups for us. Um, and that's kind of it. I mean, being able to. You know, do that empty stuff. I think is good for us, so we can kind of start there and motion back and you know run our offense, but also run out of empty. It's it's a good package for us. <clears throat> um, you know, I think we just did a really good job of uh, manipulating our matchups and taking advantage of them. Um, our guys did a great job winning versus man. We knew we were going to get that, and uh, we really kind of took the heart that you know kind of as a, the receiver group. If someone wants to try and man you up, say our guys are better than your guys. That's almost not a disrespect thing, but it's a challenge. It's a challenge that you got to step up to and be ready for. And I think that's something that our receivers really took to heart. All right, we're going to get man coverage. Let's go. Like, we got to win. So that's kind of how they did it. And then, uh, you know, like I said, our line did a tremendous job. Trace, I know that this might put you on the spot, but 358 yards, four touchdowns, given who that was against, where would you rank this performance personally um, in your career? Um, I mean, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, obviously, the ones that pop up in my mind are um, Big Ten Championship and then the Rose Bowl. I mean, obviously, Big Ten Championship, this one stand above the Rose Bowl because we won. That's kind of the biggest deciding factor, just winning the game. Uh, it, but it felt good tonight. I mean, I, I can't deny that. It felt good to be able to kind of uh, step back, um, you know, trust the offensive line. And like I said, multiple times, I mean, they did a great job tonight. We really stood up against probably one of the top defenses, top defense in the Big Ten and front four that they can attack you in multiple ways, bring so many different pressures from where they got their guys up front are extremely talented. So, um, I mean, they did a great job tonight, and then our, our receivers won big, and uh, we were able to kind of gash them a few times, and really in the run game, kind of be able to get that going too. Kind of, it felt like they were almost on the heels a little bit, and we were able to kind of just keep attacking, keep pushing. Thanks, Trace. I'm guessing your favorite receiver is the one that's open, but tonight it seemed a lot to be Deshaun. I think you met at five first downs with him. Mm -hmm. Was that something coming in, or was that an adjustment during the course of the game where you kept connecting with him? Um, it was kind of, we came out, we had a couple ones where he beat his guy, we were just a little bit off or something, and we got a hold on one of them, they knocked one away. Um, but he kind of kept coming up to the side, like, hey, when they're in man, I can I can beat the guy in front of me. That's what I can, like, trust me. Give me a chance, I'll, I'll go make the play for you. And uh, that's what I did. Um, you know, and Deshaun, he's a man who was worried. He did that all night. Um, so he, he's an extremely confident guy. Worked a lot in the offseason uh, on different kinds of routes, running them different ways against different coverages, uh, really kind of emphasizing man coverage. You know, like, that was something that we could work on and get really good at. Good at. And uh, so, I mean, it was great to see kind of Deshaun again, <clears throat> just all the hard work that he's put over the years come to fruition. Yeah. Trace, I thought, I thought there at the end that last touchdown run of yours, a little extra oomph, a little extra push. Did last year's game with Michigan, did it have you guys any more focused or or you know just ready to go after them and make a statement tonight? Um, I mean during the week not so much. Obviously we said a couple times tonight. Um, pre game just kind of Getting guys, getting juices flowing, you know that. I mean, that's a quick way to kind of get guys going. Mm -hmm. um, you bring that up, and then uh, towards the end of the game, it's just uh, hey, remember, you know, last year, blah blah. blah. Um, so, it, but it wasn't necessarily more like let's put it on, let, let's keep, let's keep working, let's keep doing, what we're doing, let's not let up. I mean, don't take your foot off the gas, you know, don't you know, become lax and focus or anything like that. Just maintain the focus and drive and um, that passion that we had on offense. How did how did that game last year them change the direction of this of this program? I mean, I don't think you've lost. The record um, I mean that game. Um, you know, I say that was almost rock. That was, not almost, that was rock bottom kind of for this team. Um, I mean, really, that how we felt after that game. Everyone was embarrassed, and um, you know, we thought we had been working hard the entire time, and you know all the hard work that we've been putting in. Like, to have it end like that you know, last year was 
it was tough to kind of have to swallow that. Um, but we kind of had to swallow our pride, realize that you know we weren't working to the standard that we needed to be if we wanted to compete at the highest level in the Big Ten, which at that time Michigan was the top level, and you know, they proved it that last year that that's the team that they were. Um, so we knew we'd have to change some, uh, that we'd have to start working harder during the week. It couldn't just be let's turn it on on Saturdays and go. I mean, you got to start Sunday, Monday with what you do, and it goes through the entire week. And I think <clears throat> since then we really embraced that.